on. Look at this heel. A puffer jacket skirt. I'm a little bit nervous. So cute. Very exposed. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't follow me over on my vlog channel, then it's been a little while since you last saw me. I've had my hair cut, but I'm back. Hello, welcome back. I've got a really exciting video for you guys today. I'm gonna to be trying out some weird and wonderful clothes from Fashion Over, and by weird and wonderful, I mean very much out of my comfort zone, but I'm very, very excited to try them on. I have a giant bag here, as usual, I ordered this a little while ago. I've pretty much forgotten everything in this bag aside from a little pair of pink fluffy sandals which I can't wait to try on. But apart from that, this is what we're dealing with and we're just gonna go ahead and get started. And I see something shiny. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. Okay, item number one. This is the In Your Dreams hologram jumpsuit. So it's a jumpsuit and it looks like, it looks like tin foil. Just a little bit. It feels quite nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this has a little piece of metal in it here. Um, but apart from that, there is no structure around here. It looks very corsety. And I have a feeling when I ordered this, I thought it would be a structured corset. But apart from the metal, there is no structure. And then there are some lovely uh jumpsuit bottoms it also features a little cutout area so i'm just gonna try this on we're gonna see what it looks like i'm a little bit nervous especially with this whole situation but here goes okay so this is what the outfit looks like on it's a very very soft material do you know what i don't hate it which is new for me it's actually kind of cute i do feel like the legs are a little long and a little baggy around the ankle but it's actually quite a cute jumpsuit it's also very very like silky soft like this part of my leg feels just wonderful however as a foil colored item this is very out there and for some reason and i could be wrong i'm getting kind of like Abba Bee Gees vibes. I don't know if that means anything. I don't know if I've just made that up, but it feels very another era kind of outfit, just very out there. And I feel like if you wore this out, a lot of people would, it's just a free for all with conversation starters. Or if someone's practicing their fake it till they make it, this is the outfit to wear for that scenario. Also, I do keep having to pull this up a lot. There's no kind of, grippy sticky bit on the inside which would would work nicely if this were like a black or like a maroony color or just another color other than like disco ball colored i feel like it's quite a cute jumpsuit this is the wish me luck corset top <laughs> wish me luck <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. okay it's like a there's a name for this material i want to go with felt but i don't think it's felt <laughs> at all i can see why i've ordered this as out of my comfort zone because of how low cut this top is but it's actually really really cute like that's a really nice crop top i don't feel like you can fully see on camera what that looks like and you won't until it's on me but that looks like a really cute crop top but this is how deep the v is so it's a pretty deep cut crop top it has a piece of wire to give it a little bit of structure around here. And then it does actually have a corset buckle at the back. So you can change the size of it at the back and make it as tight or as loose as you want. I'm gonna try this on. I'm a little bit nervous because it is very, very small and very much out of my comfort zone. But also it looks really, really cute. It looks really cute. Ignore the fact that my jeans are uh, too big for me. I bought them too big so I could use a belt and I don't know where my belt is. So excuse the jeans. So this is what the top looks like on. I would never wear this because of how open this is. I love this little detail down here and I love the feel of it. I love the ruffles. I do really like the look of it. Now that I've actually got it on, I don't feel it's as extra or as like weird or out there as I thought. I definitely feel like I'd see people wearing this top and looking really, really cute. I couldn't because it's just so low cut and I just feel too on show, but it's actually a very, very nice top. So this one does actually get like a big thumbs up from me, just not for me. And as I said at the back, it's got the corset detail, so it is completely adjustable. So if you're okay with low cut, this is really, really cute. And it is, it is staying up quite well. 
I have a feeling I ordered some form of like puffer jacket type thing and I have a feeling this is it but this is very small if this is it yes okay oh my gosh okay yes I remember ordering this it's a puffer jacket and skirt cord type thing but puffer jacket I went for it I just went for it so it's a Clarissa puffer skirt set and I believe there should be a skirt and a jacket in here made of puffer jacket material to be honest I would never wear this but I don't actually think it's that bad of a jacket however they have paired it with a puffer jacket skirt <laughs> this is like a whole cropped puffer jacket skirt set situation and I just thought it looked a bit not up my street so I got it so I could try it on. To be honest, the jacket actually feels pretty decent. The jacket is pretty decent as a jacket. I obviously wouldn't wear it all the way up. I'd have it a little bit open. It's a pretty normal jacket. Although I do feel like you kind of wear a coat to keep you warm. The half of it is missing, so you're not staying that warm. Ooh, and you can also tie the sides. This is what the outfit looks like. Da -da -da, my little cord. The jacket is not bad, actually. The jacket is quite nice. It feels nice, it fits nicely, you can tighten it, you can loosen it. It does have a double zip, so I can open the bottom if I fancied it. I don't know why I would, but if I fancied it, I could. The jacket is actually okay. The outfit, however, is a little... Mm. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it is very comfortable. It also doesn't feature pockets, which is like, there's no pockets to be found on these items. Uh, who wears a coat without pockets? Not me, I don't think. I'm raising my hand, I don't think I do. You would also kind of need to match your skirt to whatever's underneath the jacket, so that when you get to your destination, you can take the jacket off, because I've been in this for all of a minute, and I'm already quite warm. Like, it's doing its job, it's a good, coat. Um, I'm calling this a coat, an all-in-one coat, because it kind of looks like it could be one of those long puffer jacket coats if I just did this. I'm basically just wearing a puffer jacket coat, but most of the time when you wear those, when you get to the destination, you take it off, and then you're wearing another outfit underneath. You can't take this off, so the skirt would have to match what you put underneath, and I'm not entirely sure what you'd match this skirt with. It's a very interesting skirt. So I am actually happily working with Casetify to bring you this video and to share with you their new Impact and Ultra Impact phone cases. I have three Ultra Impact phone cases here. They come in a huge, huge variety of different colors, prints, designs, and you can even go ahead and personalize your own phone case. So as you can see on this one, I have Jazzy. I've also personalized this one with a little Jazzy, but they do have hundreds of different prints to choose from. I'm pretty certain there's a design on there for everybody. So if you are getting one for family or friends, or if you just want a different phone case, depending on which mood you're in, they have you covered. But I wanted to tell you a little bit more about these phone cases. So all of these phone cases are made with 65% recycled and plant-based materials, and they come in 100% percent recycled packaging. They also all feature Chitec 2.0 technology, which means they offer drop protection for up to 9.8 feet. The shock absorbing material is also made from recycled and plant-based material and is wireless charging compatible and 5G compatible. They are also 100% non-toxic, non-hazardous, and they feature Defensify, which is an antimicrobial coating that kills 99% of bacteria. And I am going to go ahead now and drop test my phone. So case if I have dared me to drop my phone to test the drop protection of this case, it is drop test approved for up to 9.8 feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and show my phone. This is my phone in the case, all good. And I'm just gonna go ahead, oh my gosh, I'm nervous, and drop my phone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so this is my phone. It's uh, perfect. <laughs> It's absolutely perfect. And I have a discount code for you in my description box. So down below there is a link to Casetify. It is casetify.com forward slash jazzybum that will get you 15% off your order. And I don't know what you're waiting for. Can honestly say I have no recollection of ordering this, but I can already see why I've ordered it without opening it. That is a lot of color, but like just all over color. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So this is what we're looking at. Now these look a little like the TikTok leggings, 
Look, they even have the scrunched bottom thing. Okay, these, okay. I know why I've ordered this. I've ordered this to test out the TikTok legging situation because I feel like these are a little dupe. Dupe, dupe, dupe. I don't know how to say that word. They're a similar version. They have an elasticated waist, which looks like it is this thick, but actually the band is only this thick. So it's not, it's not as good of a waist as I would like, but this is what they look like. I just, would you wear this? Would you wear this? Please let me know if you're wearing this. It's just, it's such a mad color combination and just so out there. We all know I don't like saying mean things, but this looks a little like I tried to tie dye it myself and I didn't know what I was doing. Like it look, it just looks like a bit of a mess. Does it not? This section of tie dye is kind of like, oh, you've tried, well done. But this section is kind of just, what happened? I don't have the highest of hopes, but we're gonna see if this can do wonders for me. Hello. Um, so this is the outfit on. Uh, feels, feels okay actually. Comfort level gets a thumbs up. It's not too bad. The fit is pretty nice. It's a little bit big. The leggings aren't super tight, but feels quite nice, comfortable. The look of this thing, however, I'm just, it's just the colors. It's just so much. It's just a lot for the eyes to take in. And I think if you went to the gym wearing this, people would look at you. And I feel most people who go to the gym don't really want people looking at them. Or at least I don't. When I go to the gym, I'm like, no one, look at me. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying my best. This is a surefire way to have people look at you. And they kind of have a reason because you kind of stand out. And then final thing from the back, do I have a uh, TikTok behind? I don't think I do. Uh, that could be my fault. That could be entirely my fault. Okay. <gasps> these, I thought these were gonna be pink. I ordered some fluffy platform shoes and I really thought they were gonna be pink, but I think they've given me black ones and I'm devastated. Ooh, they're pink. <laughs> okay, I've got pink ones. All is well and good in the, oh my goodness. <gasps> All is right in the world again. Though I would never wear these out, I'm a little bit obsessed with these. <laughs> Give me an excuse to wear them, like some form of fancy dress. I will wear them. Please let these fit me. These look so cute. They're kind of a little legally blonde vibe, but like very heightened. These are adorable. I don't feel like I should be as excited as I am to try these on. I am so excited to try these on. Please, 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 please fit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, love them. Okay, wow, that is a platform to stand on. Oh my gosh. Wait, I don't think I can get this other shoe on. Wait. Oh, you cannot see on camera. Wait, this most definitely isn't safe. Woo! <gasps> look, look on my shoes. Oh my goodness. They are so cute. Oh, and they are so soft and fluffy. Oh, I need a reason to wear these out. <gasps> oh. Almost just broke my ankle. <laughs> Actually just almost broke my ankle. I was about to say, before that happened, I was just about to say they're a little difficult to walk in and they feel a little unsafe. And then I almost twisted my ankle off. They're not the safest, most sturdy shoes to walk in, but I mean, they're okay. I like them a lot. I kind of don't want to take them off. They are so cute. Oh, I have another pair of shoes. I have another pair of shoes. Oh my gosh. Okay. I remember ordering these because the heel looks a little bit mad. Oh, they're pastel blue. Oh, that's okay. They're cute. Okay. They're very cute, but look at this heel. Okay. This madness. I'm very excited to stand on it because I'm wondering whether it feels more like a stiletto given that it goes a little thin here or more like a platform given that this is chunky. <gasps> wow. Okay. Already I'm gonna say I don't think my feet are gonna fit in this. I feel like these kind of belong on my shelf 
as an ornament. Look at them, they're beautiful. Just had a little glimpse of what's in here. So these, these are a pair of sunglasses and I just, I just wanted to show you these. It, it takes a certain type of person to be able to pull these off and look cool. I am not that person. Wow. So these are my new glasses. Um, they're blue tinted and everything looks great. We all know I love a little bit of pastel blue. This makes my whole world pastel blue. They are kind of massive. They are part gold, part, uh, part blue crystal and they are just massive. They actually do provide UV protection. That's pretty good. And actually, they cover more of your face, so you're getting a little bit more protection. So that's great. But look at them. I don't think I've ever seen someone wearing glasses like this who isn't going to like a fancy dress party. Some people could match these with an outfit and you wouldn't even question them. I wanna be those people. That's who I aspire to be, those people. But for now I am not, so I'm just gonna put these down. I got another little accessory and I'm actually very, very excited about this one. I do remember ordering this. This is a little ditty handbag. To do it up, you do this and then this and then this. And you've got a cute little bag. So this is my ditty little handbag. It is adorable, it is. I'm not gonna deny it, it's very, very cute. It also comes with gold detailing. We all know I love my gold, so I love it. I love it, it's very, very cute. However, my question with this is what are you fitting in here? My phone wouldn't fit in there, my camera wouldn't fit in there, my purse wouldn't fit in there. So, so I'm thinking the only thing I can logistically put in here is my keys and my bank cards and my ID and some lipstick. But then my bank cards are on show and everybody knows what's in my bag. They know what I'm carrying around with me. So it's kind of just, maybe I would just fill it with makeup and then take a normal handbag for all of the other necessities I need. Let me know what you would put in here. Let me know what you'd put in here and would you need an extra handbag or would you be fine with putting your money, camera, everything else in here. And would your phone fit in here? Because I'm telling you, that is tiny. This is my phone, this is the bag. So that's not happening. The next item is a Claudia Color Block denim jumpsuit. Now I think I remember kind of what this looks like and I kind of feel like this could go one of two ways. I could either absolutely love this or absolutely hate this. It's 50-50 really. It smells nice and horrible at the same time. It smells kind of soapy but in not a nice soapy kind of way. I don't know how to explain it. I feel like if I saw someone from the back wearing this, I'd be like, oh cool, she's wearing some dungarees. But from the front, it just looks a little, a little mad. So I thought I would try it on, see what this looks like. From experience, filming these videos, I have a feeling this could be one of those items where I try it on and love it even though I've picked it as like a weird item, I feel like I may end up loving this. I don't know. I just, from experience, I just feel like that. It could go that way. I don't know why I had the feeling that I would like this on me, but I got it right and I kind of do. I kind of love this on me and I couldn't tell you why. Uh, this is what it looks like from behind. The back is the only place with pockets. There aren't actually any pockets on here. Little disappointing, little bit disappointing. Um, but this is what it looks like. Still, to me, seems quite out there and looks quite extra, like out of my comfort zone, but somehow I feel very comfortable in it. I feel I really like it and I couldn't tell you why. But the only thing I'm not liking is how long these trouser legs are. However, it's almost like they've got a pre-made cut. So I can just cut this section off and I should be fine. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give it a rating. Would you wear it? Let me know if you would wear it. And let me know if I could get away with wearing this. Can I wear this out? I feel like I could almost like paint a canvas in it and just get it dirty. You know when like artists have like dungarees and they've got paint over them and they're just like, they're just cool and they look cute and cool. Maybe this could be my painting dungarees. Maybe I should start painting and this could be my dungarees. Okay, last item. I'm very excited about this one and I do remember it. I'm a little nervous to try it on 
but I'm very excited to see what it looks like. So this, from what I remember, is like a jumpsuit. Let me see what it says. Yes, it's a gravitate mesh jumpsuit. So it's a jumpsuit, but half of it's like invisible on your skin. I'm wondering if this mesh will mash, mash? I'm wondering if this mesh will match my skin tone. And if it does, the girl online didn't look to be wearing very much, but it is a whole jumpsuit. So you're technically fully covered, but barely covered. And I'm just very intrigued to see what this looks like. It looks a little like a Power Ranger suit. Does it not? <laughs> Slash Halloween onesie suit. And it feels the same too. It feels almost exactly like a like morph suit or a Halloween onesie. It's very, very thin. It's very light. It's very, very see-through. If it matches my skin color, let's see. Oh, it kind of does, doesn't it? Oh, that mesh kind of works quite well on me. Oof. I'm just gonna stand side on while I give a little introduction to this piece. I am obviously fully covered. I have on nude underwear. It, I'm basically wearing a bikini and we all know I've done bikini videos before, so I'm fully covered. It's all good, but I don't feel fully covered. I feel very, very exposed right now. I feel weirdly like I'm more exposed in this than I am in a bikini, which doesn't make any sense. Although I will say this outfit doesn't really allow for you to wear underwear. Unless of course you get underwear that perfectly goes along this line. But if you don't, you can't really wear underwear with this. Um, and then up top, no bra. Obviously I have a bra on, but you could not wear a bra with this outfit, it just wouldn't work. It's also, weirdly, very hot in this outfit. Like, really, really hot, which seems mad because I seem basically naked, but I'm so hot in this, I'm like, I'm ready to take it off. But, but this is what it looks like. I will have on screen the woman online, and obviously she looks great, but I feel like on her it looks better. And not just because it's an online edited image, it just seems to look more natural, I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. Uh, I'll let you give your opinions. And also, let me know, would you wear this? And where? Because if I saw someone out wearing this, I would be like, what? But also, wow! Like, I wouldn't know what to think. The only place I can imagine someone wearing this is like, a club slash party situation. But if that were me, I would have to have someone with me wearing just as minimal clothing. Even though I'm technically in a whole morph suit. I need someone with me wearing basically nothing so that I didn't feel quite so this. <laughs> Let me know what you think down below. I'm also going to go ahead and end this video here. I really do hope you enjoyed. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget there is a link down below for Case Defy and I will see you guys very very soon. Bye!